Hi, this is Tim from the Nintendo Blogger, and yes, I have finally got myself a capture card for the uh, Nintendo Wii, and uh, well, it will be Wii U footage, of course, going up on this channel. So here we go, and it's the um, Hopage or Howpage or something like that. I can't pronounce it. HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. It's advertised as Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 compatible, uh, obviously for getting gaming footage in uh, high quality HD, but um, it will definitely work with Wii and Wii U. Now what I'm actually going to do, I've unboxed it already, as you can probably see. I'm uh, just going to actually show you how to connect it up to a Nintendo Wii, and um, obviously when I get a Wii U, I'll do a little guide on that, although it'd be very similar, I'm sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is quickly run through how you connect the uh, Hawpage or Haypage HD PVR2 Gaming Edition to your Wii. First thing to remember, there's two things. Uh, firstly, make sure everything is off. Now, my computer and telly are all turned on, but make sure everything is turned off whilst you connect all your um, leads, etc. Second thing to remember is that the Wii is uh, not an HD console so um, you can upscale it to kind of get HD but um, you're not really going to get proper HD but obviously I'm getting a Wii U at the end of the week so that's kind of irrelevant for myself so here we go with the connections the first plug here on the left is the HDMI cable that goes in the back of your capture card and then that goes to the um, all the way to your TV, my messy um, room, excuse that, and into the back of the television, obviously into the HDMI port. Now the second cable here is the component cable. Now that goes to your Wii and um, from the capture card again to your Wii. Think to have, um, kind of take note, this is actually the original component cable. You get one in the package, but this is the original Wii one. We tried the one that came in the package, didn't work. So using the actual original Wii component cables, so from capture card into the back of all the way along my messy room again, and into the um, component cable. Next one along we have got the uh, USB cable that goes again from the, from the uh, capture card all the way around, and that one's actually going into the side of my laptop. Last but certainly not least is the power supply. Again, obviously in the back of the com of the uh, capture card, and then just into your plug socket. Obviously, I don't need to show you that. So just plug it into your plug socket. Okay. So next, obviously, you can turn everything on, and uh, there's obviously my television, and uh, here's my laptop. You can see it's come up on my laptop, and there's a couple of things you'll need to do before it actually does that. And I'll just explain those now. Okay, so at this point your um, capture card will be flashing, but that's just because it needs the next part. That is the uh, CD for the drivers, which are here. So you're just going to be popping your CD in next into your computer. And you'll be presented with, if you can just about make this out, install drivers. Then it's literally a case of following the on-screen instructions and installing the drivers. Takes a few minutes and then it's a case of everything should go smoothly and you just need to reboot re your system to uh, be ready to go and record. Now before it will appear in widescreen you'll need to do a firmware update for the um, Hoppage card and then you'll be able to get it in widescreen and um, then I will just run through the settings that you'll need so it'll appear on your screen and the settings are the source is you can see in the top left there just about maybe is uh, it'll say source and then you need to select a whole page, uh, card video capture card video input needs to select component and audio input I've selected line in RCA and like I said then you'll have widescreen it will not be in uh, HD it'll be in 720 by 480 capture card for the Wii but like I said I might show you an upscaling video at another time um, but I'm going to be using the Wii U in a minute so I'm not going to do that right now. Okay so I'm quickly going to show you how to record as well uh, so assuming everything's showing you've done your firmware updates you've got it all set up plugged in correctly as I've shown you 
Um, you should have this on screen, um, and this is obviously the main menu. And um, I'm going to show you that it you know, works basically. So make sure you select MP4. Um, down along the side you can see it highlighted in yellow round around my right about where my finger is pointing. Make sure that's selected for your Wii. Like I said, it's going to record in 72480. Still looks really good. Obviously, it's not proper HD because the Wii isn't an HD console. So, um, literally, all you need to do now is um, set yourself up a file to record into, into your My Videos, whatever you want to call it, test, whatever, you know, just call it Wii Capture Card, whatever you want to do. Set yourself up a file, and literally, then you just need to start recording. Okay, so there's two options of recording. You've got a great big button here which you can just press and it'll start recording. And at the bottom of the screen, you probably just make out the word capture. You can just uh, click that, obviously mouse over it and click that to start. It's got about a two second delay. So um, I'm just going to just show you that. So what we'll do is just start the record up here when we go into Harry Potter. So click that. Press start, and then you can see, here we go, that's us in the screen, there we go, there's just a little bit of a delay, that's us in the screen again. So make sure, obviously, when you're recording, make sure it comes up here on the screen before you start recording. And um, I'm just going to show you one that I've done. Okay, so just going to record a bit of a Super Mario Galaxy 2 for you, and you can see that's uh, up there waiting to be recorded. Okay, so this is our test video, and um, this is just the start of the game. And uh, as you can see, um, it comes out really well, and um, I'm just recording over with a microphone. So what I've done is plug the microphone into a separate USB. All you need to do is start up the microphone at the um, same time as you start your video. There is a bit of a delay with the capture, so... Um, just need to make sure you start recording from the capture card when it actually shows on the screen. But as you can see, it comes out really well. If I get a chance, I will do a uh, Wii, another Wii video, just showing you it upscaled to the uh, proper HD. Although it won't be obviously proper proper HD, but it'll look slightly better. And um, obviously, I'm getting the Wii U at the end of the week, so that shouldn't cause any issues. But hopefully, this video helps. And as long as you connect it up, is a bit. It can be a little bit fiddly sometimes with getting your TV settings right and things like that. But um, it isn't too bad once you've got that sorted. So that's it for this um, video. And this has been Tim at the Nintendo Blogger. Thanks for watching.